Hey everybody, it's time for another review and today I'm going to be discussing Alien Covenant. Um, David and I went to see it last night in the theater and um, I've been really excited for Alien Covenant. Um, I was one of the few people who actually really liked Prometheus. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I liked how it put more of the alien mythology out there but it left a lot up to your interpretation and it encouraged you to kind of like dig deep and like look for your own answers and it didn't connect all the dots. Um, which some of those not connected dots were sloppy, but some of them I think were kind of a, a challenge to do more of a, you know, a thoughtful movie and not give you all the answers. So with Alien Covenant, I thought, okay, well we're going to get kind of the style and the feel of Prometheus, but with actual, you know, the monsters, which everybody loves to see the monsters. So. Um, but I, so I will just say, first of all, I'm not going to give any like specific spoilers, but if you want to go into Alien Covenant kind of with a blank canvas, which is what I like to do most of the time, then you might want to come back to this after you've seen it. So, um, I'm going to dive right in and again, I'm not going to give specific like plot spoilers, but I'm going to get kind of heavy into what the movie is about without giving away like specific plot points. Anyway, um, so Prometheus, I mean, Alien Covenant is a sequel to Prometheus, but still a prequel to Alien. So it's more about uh, the evolution of the xenomorphs and how they came to be. And um, I think where one, one big problem people had with Prometheus is that movie was almost all questions. And Alien Covenant is almost all answers. So I feel like there's a happy medium somewhere between between Prometheus and Alien Covenant that we have not yet struck because Prometheus was a little too vague. Alien Covenant is way too on the nose. They tell you exactly what's going on. They tell you exactly how things happen. They tell you exactly what happened to wrap up Prometheus with those characters, um, which is a little too specific for me. Like, I don't need every single little I dotted and T crossed. Um, so I did not like that about it, but uh, some of the things I did like about it, um, I really, really, really loved the creatures and the gore. Um, Prometheus was, you know, very restrained in that. We didn't see a lot of really specific alien imagery, and in this movie there's all kinds of bursting and birthing and monsters and things we haven't seen before, things we're familiar with. I mean, we got it all. We got face huggers. We got people bursting out of bodies. We got full grown xenomorphs. We got these neomorphs, which are like these white aliens that don't have eyes. We got little ones. We got big ones. I mean, you have the spectrum of xenomorph race creatures, whatever you want to call them. So that was fantastic. And the very first a uh, xenomorph creature that we see come out of somebody, that scene is great. It's creepy, it's scary, it's tense, it's exciting, it's like gloriously bloody, it's really like pretty, <laughs> like it's like nicely shot, which is a weird thing to say about, you know, a gory alien, but. So, um, so the creatures are a, a high selling point for me. Now, one thing I will say is that uh, when Alien came out, one of the scariest things was the fact that you got a lot of the Xenomorph in the shadows, they moved kind of slow, there wasn't a big reveal. Um, so this movie takes that idea and just flips it right around. I mean, you see them full body, you see them full lit, you see them running, you see them attacking. Um, so it is not restrained at all. And um, so that's a little different, but it's also done pretty well so that, I mean, at this point, you know, Alien's been out for three decades. So we all know what a xenomorph looks like full on, full out. So it's not like they, you know, are spoiling anything by giving you full on xenomorph action. Um, but you know, I always like things to be a little more restrained. So I both liked that and also found it annoying at times. Um, another thing I liked about this movie was Danny McBride, who you probably know from comedy, not from horror. And he is, he was in Alien Covenant and he's also going to be producing the new Halloween movie which is coming out I think 2018 or 2019 but his character was great and uh, I always love seeing p genre actors cross over into a different genre like uh, anytime Jim Carrey does a serious role I'm on board because his comedy is, is you know loud and obnoxious and annoying but when he does drama I feel like he actually does really well so 
I was um, excited to see what Danny McBride was going to be, what he was going to do in Covenant, and I really um, appreciated his performance and his character. It was kind of a breath of fresh air. Um, so it's hard for me to say whether I liked or disliked Covenant because, as I said, there are parts of it I like and appreciate. There are parts of it that just annoyed the crap out of me. Um, so I think I need to let it have some time to sit. I need to maybe... I watched Alien before I went to see Covenant, and I didn't have a chance to watch Prometheus, but now I want to. Um, and I wonder, after watching Alien and Prometheus and Covenant, how I'll feel about the whole thing. Um, but in general, I feel like... I know Prometheus caught a lot of flack for a lot of things, but part of the... I think probably the main reason it caught flack is because everybody wanted it to be this big ridiculous alien movie. And that's just not what Prometheus was. It was a small, kind of quiet chapter in the alien story. Um, and I almost feel like Covenant was like Ridley Scott's answer to the haters. He's like, okay, Prometheus wasn't what you wanted. Here's maybe what you wanted instead. And so I feel like people are going to love Covenant and they're going to continue to crap on Prometheus. Um, but I think there's a place for both of them, and as I said earlier, I don't think either Prometheus or Covenant have really struck that beautiful balance. I think that was Alien. That was the original Alien was the beautiful balance. And, uh, you know, we can probably never quite capture that again. But, um, so I would definitely say give Alien and Covenant a try. I don't know if you necessarily need to see it in the theaters. If you're like a big special effects monster gore person and you just really love that, then um, maybe go see it in the theater. But otherwise, I'd say just hang on, just wait. Maybe watch Alien and Prometheus, and then when Covenant comes out, maybe give that a try. Make it a trilogy or something. Um, so, oh, one more thing I have to mention that I did not like. Because <laughs> it was ridiculous. Um, there is a scene where a man and wife are doing it in the shower, which is fine. But... And they get killed by a xenomorph, which is not really a spoiler. When you get there, you know what's going to happen. But I was like, did we just, what happened? Like, are we still in an alien movie? There are people having sex in the shower. Like, what, did we just cross over into a Friday the 13th? Are we in a slasher movie all of a sudden? What is this? Uh, so to me, in that moment, they were not taking the xenomorph seriously anymore. We just kind of crossed into this weird, like, camp territory. So I don't know what that was about. That was the worst. Um, so, sorry to go off on that tangent, but I just, I had to express that. I have a lot of thoughts about this movie. Um, I could go on and on and on, but I will not. So, um, so if you hated Prometheus, maybe go see Covenant and you'll love it. If you love Prometheus, just be warned, Covenant is not as smart and restrained or stylized as that one. Um, but it is a good little bridge. It is unique in that it's a prequel slash sequel. Sequel to Prometheus, prequel to Alien. So, um, yeah, I look forward to hearing what other people have to say. I've heard nothing but pretty much good things so far. So I'm looking forward to those hearing opinions of those out there who may feel a little bit more like me. So uh, let me know. Do you like Covenant? Do you like, really, I want to know, do you like Prometheus? That's what I want to know first. So, um, anyway, I look forward to hearing some other people's thoughts, and I will see you guys at the next review.